Um, as you guys seen before, we had kind of been kicking around with the uh, the Fuhoff trailer van. Um, you guys are all aware of the story of um, the B train, or I guess maybe it's called C train, that I was looking to build two of these trailers connected to a real nice rig. Uh, and then the boy uh, annexed one of these out of the shop for his own little build. Uh, we've since worked with that one. It turned out pretty decent for, uh, for what he did. So uh, we had to rethink our plans. So we uh, we started this one the other day. I think we're going to make this go along with our uh, our uh, white Freightliner as well. And um, here's where we stand. We're kind of been fiddling with it now for quite a while. We started this like real early in the summer, and we played around with the main suspension, which is very uh, very well done. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very honest with you. Uh, it comes with the maxi cans and the actual um, the or the I'm sorry not maxi cans the, the slack adjusters. Uh, this was all chrome. We stripped all the chrome off so we can lay this down. And the thing I'm using here is we have one of these uh, these Fuhoff, uh, or Fuhoff um, tra trailer vans uh, that's at work. It's now it's a non-highway trailer. Uh, it got damaged uh, and now they use it for just uh, yard shunting. And uh, I've noticed on this one, and I've noticed a few other that come through the yard as well, this on these vans or these trailers are always rusty. So we're going to do a little bit of weathering, a little bit of rusting. I'm thinking I'm going to do the hairspray, and then I want to do a little bit of salt as well to give it that more textured uh, Nova Scotia kind of uh, slaggy kind of uh, rusty kind of gunk going on. So we'll get that rolling there. Um, same with the landing gear as well. They're always all rusted up, and they just look awful, so we're going to do that. Um, that's tweaked something wicked. There we go. Get that straightened when we get it onto the kit anyway. Um... There's a piece, and I, I want to say it's, yeah, it must be to here. It's a piece in the kit that runs from point A to point B, here to here. And what it is, is you got your gear reduction here. It goes over to the side, it'll raise up both, on the one-to-one, -one, raise up both landing legs. Um, that got broken in the kit, so I actually took a piece of brass, and I made the, a photo etch one, if you will, giggity, giggity, just to kind of snazz it up a little bit. So I got that in there. Um, kind of like the kit a little bit. The instructions are horrible. Mine is normal. So uh, what I'm suggesting on this kit, anyway, I guess it, in a lot of the AMT stuff, go online, download the instructions, and print them off on a much bigger paper. A hell of a lot easier to read, guys. I was fiddling and going on, and things were dropping, I lost them, blah, 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 blah. So there we go. The instructions are standard AMT instruction, hard as hell to read, but uh, just because I'm illiterate, I guess, I don't know. Uh, the decal sheets here are really cool. Um, of course, they hawk their own brand, AMT and World, Auto World, Round 2, blah, blah, blah. But what's really cool is they do give you a full range of Department of Highway stickers, uh, branding, uh, caution, wide turn, where I see that right there, uh, wide load, I'll put that on my ass later. Um, just, you know, really cool decals. I like this sheet. It kind of stood out to me. I liked it. So we'll pick and choose what we want to use out of it. What's really cool is you guys probably wonder what this thing is. They're telling me via the instructions that this should mount, you kind of line it up here and place your decals. And this is a, the template to make sure your, your decals are symmetrical left to right. So that's a neat little touch. We probably won't use that because we're not going to use the big decals, but still pretty cool. And then when you're all said and done, you got some, some AMT bulk siren to play with. Um, the rear doors. Um, we are, I think we're going to attempt to, instead of trying to do a metalized mist, we might try to bare metal foil these because you get that really shiny reflective uh, door in the back, which you see on the highway, and then play with that. Um, the floor was a bit of an epic fail for us, but then we, um, we realized we reshot this and tried it again. We're going to try it again, mind you. Um, hard to catch on the camera, but the floor is very well textured. I don't know if you hear or not, but you got it, they've molded in the wood grain. So we've... We sprayed our one color, and then we went over and we dry brushed, but we dry brushed with a really horrible brush, and we were getting blotching, and you can almost see it here. So I went back and I lightly dusted it again with the base color, I'm going to get the proper brush back over and airbrush again. Uh, I was kind of half huffy about this, and my wife came over and looked and said, listen, it's going to be built into a box, you're not going to be able to see most of it anyway, and plus, this blotchiness, it's so random. And when you go and you, air, you dry brush again, it's going to add texture and depth. It's going to look like it's been used. And that's what we were after. So we're kind of, kind of made us a little happy there. This is the back end of the trailer. This here is going to be nice and shiny as well. The inside I've noticed in a lot of the trailers I've noticed, 
after work. This is a plywood in the back. So my color's not quite right. I'm not happy with the color, but we might try playing with a little bit. And then again, it's going to be in the back. So in a show, you're not going to really see it. And I'm probably, I'll show you guys a little idea later as the build comes together. I'm going to kind of probably put a false load about here so you won't see the back anyway. Um, the roof, the roof is on fire. Um, this is kind of striking me as I don't know what I'm going to do with this because usually these are kind of a semi-transparent, you know, cover to allow light in for loading. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of lost there. But um, I am a little excited about the uh, internal panels. We've got these primed in white. What we want to do is the base is going to mount kind of in well, this spot here. And anyone familiar with trailers knows that there is a metal kick plate almost to the first set of rivets up the side. And then right dead center, there's another strip of uh, metal that runs the whole length of the trailer with perforate slots in it's for tie downs. So I don't know how I'm going to duplicate that and make it symmetrical. The other thing I noticed on a trailer the other day I was looking is that these, where these rivets run, there's also can be straps come down through here that, are, that have cutouts in as well for tying down loads. So somewhere I need to draw the line on detailing, but I do kind of want to make it happen. Um, as far as external, I don't know. These trailers, the Fuhoff trailers that I've seen, are usually painted white. And then they're dingy and dirty. I, yeah, I'm not so much of I'm keen on that. I really, really kind of, give me a big old, uh, yep, one of those, um, to do a, a, a highly polished aluminum, like a metalizer. You're getting the L-clads out and playing with it. I think it would just pop on this, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You guys got suggestions? Fire it off to me. But, uh, cool little trailer kit. Oh, here's our axles for the uh, the wheels. Our yellows and our red marker lights and air hose and brake line hose. I'm not sure what it is. It says in the kit here. I can't remember if it's air or not. And then we got a big pile of tires here. And they're really nice. I'm really digging these AMT tires. I've got into the AMT uh, puck kits. So, they're cool. So, there we are guys, I'm kind of plugging away at this, um, i got way too many builds on the go, I want to do a video regarding that here shortly, but uh, anyway guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's see if we make this one, uh, this one stand out and be cool. So. Alright guys, adios.